So I ordered this off the internet. And it looks sketchy, to say the least. This is a splitter for an 8-pin to a 8 and a 4-pin. It should boost the power that my CPU can consume. But I'm sort of worried about the watts. But I figured, let's try it. The worst that can happen is probably that it will overheat and it, the system will shut down. It probably won't harm anything. And if it does, I know what it is. So let's try it. Okay. So where is our little problem? Here is where the power goes in to the CPU. Wriggle this out without damaging anything. Here we go. Then we clamp this on here. That should connect nicely into the CPU. There we go. Now it's stuck. Good. This and that. It will probably work. Okay, here's hoping it doesn't explode on me this thing. Oh, might want to put in the power first. Ready? So far, so good. So far, so good. This actually looks like it's working. Oh my god, it looks like it's working. Everybody's running at full power here now. Temperature. Motherboard is fine. The CPU is at 90, which is okay. It's warm, but it's working where it's working. It's actually uh, not that bad. Really. So the CPU fan is running at full. The chassis fans are running the voltage. CPU is at 1.2. This is actually working. Of course, I, I am running a, a 750 kilowatt uh, power supply. So the, the fact that I didn't have like uh, the 8 plus 4 uh, plug was kind of dumb, really. So it should work. The temperature is really high now, but uh, it's not critical yet. And so far, we are beating our benchmark just barely, a little much. And we're, we're just right under the Threadripper, actually. That's quite impressive. Okay, so it's been like a week and nothing has exploded yet. So I'm guessing that this worked. And the th fun thing is that if you watch my benchmarks, I actually beat my old benchmark by 500 points. Which is quite impressive. Like, this is a screenshot of uh, the benchmark I did before uh, putting in the new power cable. So you can see that it's 13 to 19, which is the number on the here. And you can see that I got a slight advantage of using this. Now what I've heard is that using both uh, the power outlets uh, is mostly useful when you're overcloaking a device. But when I'm use, uh, what I also read on some forums was that if you use an i7 or higher, they would probably have use for the extra power to comp to have 100% functionality, which I'm guessing they were correct. Now this is the the power cable that I was using, which is simply a converter from eight to an eight and four. Pin. And this is my power supply, which is a TS TX seven fifty M. But the weird thing is that uh, it only has an eight pin connector, which is kind of weird when you have uh, seven fifty watts. So I'm guessing that the it should work perfectly fine to use a splitter like this. But I'm not sure. It seems kind of weird because. I could, of course, have spent another thousand euros just to get a power supply with the 8 plus 2 pins directly in the power supply, but it seems a bit weird because I've calculated that I'm barely using 500 watts with all my components, so there should be enough watts in this power supply to run everything. 
And this is my my motherboard, which is a Strix uh, set 590F. Um, so you can see that I have two, these are the two plugs that we're using, and both ATX plugs, they're both 12 volts. So there's just the general warning here, do not uh, connect the four uh, pin power plug only, because the motherboard might overheat over heavy usage. And also ensure to connect the 8-pin power plug or connect both 8 and 4-pin power plugs. For fully configured safer, we recommend that you use a power supply unit PCU that supplies with an ATX 12 volt specification 2.1 or later that provides a minimum power of 350 volts. Well, minus 750, so it should be fine. We recommend that you use a PSU uh, with a higher voltage pusher when configuring the system with more power consumption devices system may become unstable or may not boot up if the power is inadequate. If you want to use two or more high-end PCI Express 16 cards, use the PCU with a thousand watts power or above to ensure system stability. Well, I'm not running two, uh, two GPUs on, on my, uh, my, my PC, I'm just running one. So I think I should be good as long as I don't uh, upgrade to another um, to another uh, GPU, I should be fine. So this looks like it's perfectly fine, even though I, I don't know why, why I'm so skeptical about about this thing. This is my complete rig. You can, I'm actually gonna, I can put a link to this in the description so you can actually see all my 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 specs. But uh, what do you guys think? Is this dangerous? Am I doing something wrong, or am I just like using the full potential of the this, the GPU? Because now, now the CPU is actually running better than ever, and it's been stable for a week. So, I guess if if nobody is protesting in the comments, um, I can actually recommend this: get a, a splitter and just plug it into your eight pin and get full power to your CPU if you have enough voltage to run it. I try it out so you don't have to, and uh, apparently it works, so you can try it yourself at your own risk. By the way, if something goes wrong, it's not my fault. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to say that anymore. Actually, please subscribe. Having a subscriber account actually helps this channel out a lot. So I'm instead just going to say, Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe, and I guess I'll talk to you next time.